Procrastination. We all do it, don't we? Postponing or delaying something, making excuses such as, I work best under pressure. Well, I'm here to tell you, the time for procrastination is over. But what if you aren't just procrastinating? What if you are actually experiencing task overload? Task overload is when we have too many things to do, too little time to complete them, and way too few resources to get it all done. Often, when we experience task overload, we try to multitask or jump around from task to task, believing if we spend time on each thing we will get them done faster, when in reality, it takes our brains an adjustment period between tasks, proving that multitasking really doesn't work. Sometimes, task overload leads to procrastination driven by anxiety. When your productivity slows, it causes even more work to pile up, and therefore more stress, which, of course, can be followed by more procrastination. And, well, you can see it has the potential to become a vicious cycle. So how can you beat procrastination? First, identify if you have task overload, and identify the issues that led to it. Here are some common reasons why we find ourselves bogged down with too much work. Disorganization If you are disorganized, you have a harder time keeping track of your own tasks. If you don't know what's on your plate, then you may make the mistake of adding to it. Inability to say no Are you constantly saying yes to colleagues and managers? If so, this can lead to task overload. Sometimes the right answer is no. Learn to just say no. Never finishing a task. Multitasking is a myth. The only way to get things done and do them efficiently is to work start to finish. Multitasking leads to wasted productivity, mistakes, and missed deadlines. Stick to the one-and-done approach. Failure to delegate. You cannot do everything. I know. I've tried. Sometimes, you need to let go of control and let someone else help get the task done. Find the appropriate person and delegate. It helps when you are aware of your colleague's skill set. Then, you can delegate and choose the people who can do it better and quicker than you. Not valuing your time. We have all heard the saying, time is fleeting. And this is true. This is why you need to protect your time, because it is valuable. Ensure that you have left yourself time for your priorities, not everyone else's. By avoiding these behaviors, you can minimize your task overload. Once you get tasks under control, you can evaluate any other reasons you may be procrastinating.